What's up guys, so I have about a minute and 30 seconds of narration, so I'm going to be talking pretty fast in the whole video. So here we have um, the warm up, which is basically, well actually the second warm up because I warmed up with the bar and then we went on 25 on each side and I did 10 repetitions of that. And then I put the 35 plates on and I did 5 repetitions of that. And then once I got to 135 and then on, it was only one uh, rep because I am supposed to max out in the workout. So I did 135 with no problem. Then I went into 145, um, also no struggle at all. Then 155 also with uh, no problem at all again. And I actually thought I was going to go... Um, higher than what my last PR was which is 165 this is actually 165 right here and that is what my last um, one rep max was as you're gonna see clearly that I did not struggle at all compared to the last video or where I maxed out on bench but it didn't seem um, so it didn't seem like uh, I would have any trouble lifting 175 but I don't know what happened probably something was wrong when it was on the setup but I did feel that my strength has increased extremely because lifting those past weights was pretty easy probably here I wasn't all perfectly set up and was maybe leading too forward or anything so yeah guys so thank you guys and now here you go the vlog part what's up guys this is like the seventh time I'm filming this and I'm trying to make it as short as possible especially because I only got about 10 minutes into uh, the recording time I have left in my phone before I clear everything out and make it clean. So let's go and do this as quick as possible. So today's subject is actually shoulder pain, and which means that we're going to see what are the exercises that might cause that and how you can change those exercises a little bit to make them better, feel your, don't put too much pressure on your shoulder, and also a little bit of stretches I know myself that I do. So I avoid all those type of pains. I've only gotten this pain once and it was when I first started working out. That's what happens to most people. It happens when they just start working out. It doesn't mean that it has to be then, but it does happen. I've heard that a lot of people in my gym have been feeling that shoulder pain and been asking me how what they can do. So I said, well, I'll make it up in the video because there's a lot I can talk about this. So I'm trying to make it in this video in about five minutes and tell you guys how to do all these things. So three workouts, lateral raises, benching, and uh, raises for your shoulders. I don't, you know, you grab the barbell and lift it for your shoulders, right? So let's start with the lateral raises. Lateral raises, most people are taught to do them extending their arms totally. And, you know, it's a fine thing to do, but if you're starting to put some weight into it, you want to want to bring those, um, you know, hands into your body a little bit more. You know, try to keep it like this instead of like this because if you keep it extended, you're going to put a lot of pressure on your shoulders and that's probably what's causing the pain because you're putting a lot of pain in the shoulder but not in a good way. You're putting it a lot on the shoulder cuff and that's not what you want. You want it really to put it on that muscle. So try to close in a little bit. Try it. Tell me if it works. If not, well, we'll figure something else. Now, the next one is benching. Most people bench like this, right? So let's say I'm laying on, uh, you're looking at me from the top. I'm benching like this, yeah. You, you, most people bench like this and what they don't know is that they're not really working too much their chest they're really working what is called their shoulder but how do you fix that problem just try to bring the elbows a little bit more to your body and you will work on more your chest and keep the pressure away from your shoulders and still be able to bench with no pain at all you know so that's one of the things also uh something else you guys could uh do is this one this exercise right here you can not really avoid it because the exercise is meant to be like this. And the reason why it normally gives you the pain is because this hand is like this. Instead of being like this straight, it's uh, bending down, which means it puts a lot of pressure on your shoulder cuff. Which means that you should just leave it for a while and then come back to it in a couple of weeks. And, you know, I did that workout. I got the pain. I stopped it. I recently started it again, again and I'm feeling fine. I haven't got that pain ever again since I've been stretching and doing all these things. So... Uh, that's how you can fix the form in those three workouts. Also, another thing that can cause the pain is that you're working certain parts of your shoulders and you're leaving some out of your workout plan, which means you're working the front part and the middle part, but you're not working the back part, which means that your shoulder's probably going to look like this. If you're working the back and middle, it's going to look like this. And like you want to try to work everything out together because if not, what this can do is cause, cause a shift in your shoulder cuff, which means that you're going to feel that pain. 
right? More the pain I know I had is in the middle, and that's what most of you guys will have that pain in if you know what I'm talking about. So that's one thing. Another is the stretch. So stretch real quick, going like this, both ways. That's one grabbing a very light weight and going like this and like this. Sorry, I got interrupted. Um, so let's go back to what I was talking. You grab a little bit of weight and you go like this or like this. And then after doing that, you can also grab the weight and put it over in your, uh, your leg and kind of like rotate it looking down, uh, same way, you know, near to the ground. That's what I do. Also grab a place and push forward and backwards, you know, kind of, uh, stretch out the muscle, keep it warmed up, and always, you know, smooth around your arms a lot. It warms up your shoulder a lot. Try that out, guys. I hope I helped you. If you have any questions uh, on your workout or anything that you guys want to know about, just feel free to put and comment on the description. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. And also check out the webpage that just has been launched. If you're seeing this, it was launched yesterday, which means that we're still in stock and you guys check out that webpage. See you guys.